Greetings, James Todd from Rotoviz. Today I'm going to take a look at the Best Ball ADP app. This app is designed to be used in conjunction with the Best Ball Leagues hosted by My Fantasy League. Typically those are referred to as MFL 10s or MFL 25s. And this app is designed to help you manage that entire experience. So let's take a look at what the app has going on here. I'm going to point out that there are a number of tabs here that have different information and we're going to work our way through them. Up here in the filter options we can select which position or set of positions we'd like to look at. So you could include all the positions here and if we were to look at the average draft position or ADP tab, basically this is giving us the ADP for all the players. Now you could restrict that to just one position. Okay, If I wanted to look at just tight ends, I could look at just tight ends. You can also adjust the date range that you're looking at. So I'm looking at the past two weeks, but if I wanted to look at just the last week, I could do that and see if there had been any changes. Or I could look at a shorter date range or a longer date range, etc. The idea is that it gives you a sense of ADP changes over time. I'm going to add back in some positions here. We'll leave defense out for now. The next two tabs go together, ADP risers. So what's happening here is that Rotoviz is looking at the draft data for all MFL 10 and 25 drafts in this date range, and it's showing us the players that have had the biggest rise in ADP. And each dot represents a draft, and the trend line is showing you what's happening to that player's ADP over time. Now if we adjust the date range, up here in the calendar, we'll get some different results. We could also restrict it to just a single position if you wanted the results to be just at that position. So by looking just at tight end, it's going to show us the tight ends whose ADP has changed the most in the date range. I'm going to leave the other positions in again, and let's take a look at ADP fallers. So maybe you're looking for some players whose ADP is dropping. Here are the players that have had the most significant drop in ADP. So this is the ADP, and across the bottom is the date range. Okay, so that's the same for everything. So the most recent draft, this is where Jarek McKinnon went. The next tab is for you to do your own research. So if you want to look at results for a specific player or set of players, maybe I want to look at the Detroit offense. So I'll put in Calvin, Golden Tate, maybe Eric Ebron. Look at their primary receiving weapons, and you can see the ADP for each and how it's changed over time. So Calvin's ADP is in a nice tight band up here. Eric Ebron's ADP is rather all over the place, and it looks to be on the uptick just a little bit. So you can put as many players in here as you'd like. If you want to look at a single player, you can do that too. Again, each dot represents a single draft, so you can see the range of where player is selected. So Ebron's gone as high as pick 75, and as low as pick 170 or so down here. So quite a range for him. The next two tabs are specific to you. So if we were to look at my league, if you are currently drafting in an MFL 10 or MFL 25, you can put your league number in here or search for it. And Rotoviz will show you the players that are currently available in that league. And you can sort by clicking on any of the column headers you're getting a number of data points for each player here. So let's look at Darren McFadden. He is the 45th running back drafted in MFL leagues at the moment with an ADP of 126.3. A pretty variable ADP, standard deviation of his ADP is pretty large. He's been drafted 87 times, so in 87 different MFL leagues. The break-even number is the important number on this page, and there's a little bit of information for that right here. Let's take a look at the help text. Breakeven is the number of points the player has to score for franchises that draft the player to win their league an average of 10% of the time. So if you're looking to draft McFadden and you think he can clear 28 points this year, you might want to consider that. Last year he scored 116. The breakeven is the number of points you should roughly be expecting to get from that player in order to make it a good selection at this ADP. The final tab is the exposure tab. And again, this is a tab designed for your use for your MFL portfolio. Kevin Cole has let me put his name in here. Kevin is one of our writers and designed this app. And so here is what Kevin has going on in his MFL portfolio. One of the things the app does for you that's very helpful is it gives you an equity score. 
So your equity is calculated as the average pick for the given player minus their current ADP, and then divide that by the uh, standard deviation of the player's ADP. So how much better or worse than the market have you been at picking that player? His biggest winners, Marcus Colston, Brashad Perriman. Let's take a look at the equity column. We'll sort that way. So Kevin has drafted Marcus Colston three times out of his 25 total leagues. So he has a 12% exposure rate to Marcus Colston. He selected Colston at an average pick of 173.7. Right now, Colston is going at pick 134.5. So he has very positive equity in that selection. Now that's not a forecast of how well Colston is going to perform this year. It's simply telling us that Kevin was able to acquire shares of Marcus Colston at a much better price than what he is currently going for. Most of these tabs also have a download feature. So if you want to download your portfolio into Excel, you can do that from here. If you have any questions about how the app works, feel free to reach out to us at Rotoviz. It's at Rotoviz on Twitter, or the app designer is at Colkev underscore FF. Thanks, and have a successful MFL 10 season.